we're gonna go over a quick video on doing a J prep tooling setup with a 208 uh, beat with doing six inch stainless schedule 80 pipe. Set the mandrel in there. Just want to pick out where there's not a seam. Go ahead and throw our machine up on there. Tighten the torque screw or torque keys evenly. First thing you want to do is uh, we're going to face the pipe back just to make sure it's square unless you have a target length to do. Once you have the end of the pipe square into your length or your dimension you need, we're going to go ahead and put your uh, counterbore bit in next. Goes face, counter bore, and then bevel. So you gotta have a counter bore cleaned up all the way around the pipe, preferably hitting the target dimension, to get a consistent land for a J prep. The only other way to get a consistent land is if you use an attachment we make that's an ID tracker. So if you don't clean up all the way around on your ID, you can't get a consistent land unless you track it. interrupted cut to where you're not cleaning up all the way around you're only cutting on one side where the seam might be heavy you have to stop and bring it out till it's cleaned up all the way around you want to find that piece of pipe that's the larger ID and get it cleaned up once it's cleaned up first then you can do all the rest of them without having to reset tooling once the tooling's all set up for your land thickness and extension you could just do one right after another. When you're first setting up, you set your bevel bit in a rough uh, land thickness, a little heavy, then you can measure and scoot it down. Disconnect your air when you're moving the tooling. Take your calipers, measure our land thickness. We're aiming for 60 thousandths. We just happen to be at 70. We need to go in 10 thousandths. Easy way to adjust is you can take your calipers, you set it on the back, bring it down to the tool bit, read to where you're at. 
going to be bringing it in another ten thousandths. Set your lock. Hold on to your tool bit. You had the calipers locked. Bring it down, holding on to it. Loosen the lock, recheck it. Make sure you're at where you want it to be, right there. Tighten all the set screws. material compared to carbon that we go at a slower RPM. Just use enough coolant, maybe spray on the back of the tool bit to keep it cool. Go ahead and double check our measurement. 60 thousandths, we have the 60 thousandths land extension in our counter bore. Now once the tool bits are all set, we don't have to move them and we can go from one pipe to another for production. You won't have to move them until they're wore out.